Here's some food for thought. Can it be juice? Thank you, my lovely artificial audience. It's the show about extracting nutrients from plant matter. We're going to have a roaring good time. Can it be juice? On Pikmin 3 on the Wii U and Nintendo Switch, after Alpha Tree's Brittany, they still have to rescue the captain. So they return to the planet with Red Pikmin and Rock Pikmin in tow. Then they break down a crystal wall with the rocks and then get a signal from their radar, which they think is Captain Charlie. So they have to repair a ceramic bridge, finding the broken pieces on the other side of the ravine, tossing Brittany the botanist over, just like the face sprinkler, to gather the pieces to rebuild the bridge, then break another crystal in structure to get more pieces. So in the end, what fixed the Merc? Crossing to find a beckoning passage, where danger awaits. Where we first have to break down a dirt wall, which is the only thing standing in our way to reach the source of the signal. Passing through, Alf wonders what created this hollowed cove. Then we go inside and meet eyes with a creature known as... The first boss of Pikmin 3. Made of a crystalline substance. I give you... The Armored Mawdad! Which is defeated by shattering its outer shell, exposing its tender flesh underneath with rocks. Then letting it have it! Falling to expel a foam and the fruit we are looking at this time. Which goes by many names. One being the Pattaya, the Strawberry Pear, or the Dragon Fruit. Known in-game as the Fire Breathing Feast. And despite its appearance, looking more like a psychedelic artichoke from an artist's interpretation, it can be juiced. For being a fruit that is rarely publicized compared to others, dragon fruit. it's one that is rich in its mythology. According to legend, the dragon fruit was created thousands of years ago by fire-breathing dragons. During the battle, when the dragons breathe fire, the last thing that would come out would be the fruit. It would be given as a gift to the emperor after the beast was slain. If they only knew that this fruit grows in a climbing cactus called the, the Hyla Sirius, and sprouts and flames. But when you cut it open, it has a usually white flesh with black seeds, which both are thankfully edible. Those seeds are said to have a nutty taste. And surprise, the peel is also very safe to eat as long as you wash it before consuming it. It may not be one of the dirty dozen, but its exterior might have a significant amount of pesticide residue on it. If it's washed, it is also packed with nutrition, including pectin, like apple. antioxidants, fiber, and beta cyanin. Roasted beet salad? But other sources say it's ill-advised to eat the peel. What is the truth? <laughs> As the skin is used to make an Indonesian-style stir-fry, or dried, or brewed to make tea. You can also use it to make dragon fruit jams and jellies. Taking on the jellies! Awesome! As well as leave it on the fruit when juicing it. And you only need one to fill your glass! Compare <laughs> Bacola! However, when it comes to the type of fruit that the games is based off, there are a few varieties. There's a standard Alice variety, named after fruit grower Alice Snow, that does need to be cross-pollinated to set fruit. Then there's a Cosmic Charlie, that is capable of self-fertilization, with a magenta-fleshed interior, and also a grape-kiwi-like flavor. Based on the growth of these two fruits, I can deduce that the fruit in question would be... Alice. Since juicing a dragon fruit can be as simple as putting the whole fruit in the juicer, here are some benefits to its cactus elixir. Drink cactus juice. It'll quench ya. Now with a name like dragon fruit, you would think it would be quite beastly in its ability. And it is. It's a prebiotic. As in a non-digestible food ingredient that promotes the growth of beneficial microorganisms in the intestines. It boosts the growth of probiotics, 
you know, the substances that stimulate the growth of microorganisms, such as lactobacilli. Take the yogurt. <laughs> exactly, Caroline. The fruit also improves the effects of cardiovascular disease, and lactose intolerance can prevent and treat cancer, regulates immunity, and improves gastrointestinal diseases. The fruit also sports bifidobacteria. Those are found in your intestines that help digest fiber, prevent infections, and produce important compounds like vitamin B and fatty acids. You know, good bacteria. Other benefits from the dragon fruit include its calcium, vitamins, phosphorus, carbs, and many other important nutrients. But even this beast of a plant has its share of problems as it functions as a natural diuretic, which means it sends you to the bathroom more often than you want. And depending on the dragon fruit in excess, it might leave your urine with a troubling discoloration. Like having too many beets. beets. Also having too much of its antioxidants, like its beta carotene, carrot. can contribute to lung cancer. And its higher vitamin E consumption raises the risk of hemorrhagic stroke. I also implore you see if you are allergic to it, as it leaves swollen lips and tongue, itchy throat, and a burning feeling in the throat, and so on. Also, while dragon fruit is known to help with high blood pressure and hypertension, eating too much can lead to hypotension. Hypotension occurs when blood pressure falls below normal levels, causing symptoms such as dizziness, nausea, tiredness, depression, and loss of consciousness. So in conclusion, if you consume this fruit responsibly, it's quite the team player. If you like what you see, press like, subscribe, and smash that bell to get notifications on the channel where everything grows on you.